Welcome everyone. This is a brief update on the challenge of dismantling my AC 2 litre engine. Part 3 showed that my latest tactic was to hacksaw through the last two cylinder liners. I found that the best method is to make 5 or 6 cuts lengthways and then break pieces off from the skirt of the liner. You can progressively see more and more of the bore in the alloy block exposed. Yet number 2 liner is still stuck. Off camera the liner shot out like a bullet when clobbered with a hammer. There is some evidence of coolant leaking past the gasket. Now to tackle number one liner. I've already made six hacksaw cuts around over half the circumference. Now I'll be using a poor screwdriver which is sharp enough to prise weakened sections off. Deepening a saw cut. No movement. Still no movement. More and more of the bore surface is exposed. Surely it'll come out now. A large section broke off, so now 100% of, of the circumference has broken off down to 3 quarters of the depth of engagement. Success! You can see the pale brown lime scale that had seeped down the bore 
and presumably helped stick it firmly in the block. It's handy being able to clean out the water jacket. The remains of a figure of eight gasket to prise off. Each gasket serves two liners. Debris had filled up the bottom recesses. Digging this out exposed some small areas of corrosion. Hopefully no holes all the way through. Removing liners is supposed to be easy compared to the head studs. I'd removed two of them last summer, but the others are firmly stuck. I think this is more to do with carbonised lubricating oil on the threads, rather than corrosion. I'll heat the studs with this small butane torch. I don't want to put too much concentrated heat into the block. Hopefully the expansion will crush anything between the studs and block and open up a gap when the studs cool down. Also it might give the penetrating oil a chance to get in. While they are cooling down, I'll give you a quick tour of the water jacket. Some precision engineering to give the studs a shock. Still no movement from any studs, so I'll apply more Aerocryl penet penetrating oil and leave it to soak in. Hopefully there'll be one more update to come when the studs finally emerge triumphantly. See you next time!